Good afternoon. Welcome to my channel, The Angels of Alchemy. I'm psychic medium and angelic channel, Dee Graywall. This is going to be the general collective reading for all signs from June 7th to June 13th. I hope you're all doing well. Um, let's go ahead and jump into your reading. So from the Munology deck, I had two cards that literally flew out of the deck. You have Hold Your Vision, Fixed Moon, and Show the World the Real You, Full Moon in Aquarius. I do feel that there were, the energy that we're in, we're really being kind of put in this place of becoming and being our real authentic selves. There's a feeling of, you know, stop hiding behind something. Stop trying to be somebody that you're not. Learn to love, honor, and respect yourself and step into your full power and start showing the world the real you, who you are. Let down your guard. That's the sense and feeling that I get. And I feel like this is going to bring in blessings for you. Hold your vision. This isn't a time to give up, okay? Have hope and have faith. There are new beginnings on the horizon. Focus on your dreams and desires right now. Don't focus on lack consciousness. What you don't have, focus on what you do have. You have here dark thoughts. So this, telling, this is telling me a lot of people are very focused on negativity right now, all right? Um, dark thoughts, feeling confused. This is all about what's in the shadow. A lot of what's in the shadow is coming to light. Um, you know, some of you are feeling uh, kind of oppressed um, in this energy of a self-made in prison, um, self-made prison, okay? Your own entrapment, okay? And you're entrapped by your thoughts, by your fears. This is the thing that's holding you back. And so we need to get over this dark thoughts, these, these, but on the other end of that, you need to embrace what's in the shadow as well as the light. Okay. But I do feel a lot of negative thoughts right now. People are doing a lot of life review, um, during this cycle that we're in. Okay. You have the four of wands. There's a lot of dark thoughts about home, stability, marriage, some of you long-term commitments, what is home and stability. Some people are feeling oppressed in situations, especially spending more time home with people. You know, this is where relationships have been tested. This is where we're learning what's going to work and what isn't going to work. But a lot of thoughts about stability, finances, home, relationships, long-term commitments here with the four of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Wheel of fortune. There's something about the home front that is changing. They, I really do feel that there's a cycle that's ending. Karmic completion in relationships are definitely something in regards to marriage. Um, and, and this is your destined past. So some of you are getting out of a sticky situation, long-term commitment. Um, karmic situations in relationships. But the wheel's moving in your favor now, okay? So it's going to be bringing in new opportunities and new beginnings. Yeah. Yeah. You know, this is about, with the Hierophant here, this is very much about marriage and long-term commitments, okay? Also, perhaps your faith is being tested here with the Hierophant, you know, needing to draw on your faith right now, though. Needing to go within, calling on your guides, your angels for support to guide you to your purpose, to your destiny. Whatever is unfolding right now is destined to unfold this way. Um, there is a need to look, don't look at the past as, you know, negative, positive, negative, positive. The past has been a teacher. Your experiences, the people that you've attracted in your life, you've learned something from all those experiences. So look at the people that you've met and look at it as life experiences. They were there to teach you. This, also, this is also a time um, where a lot of you are diving into um, studies and um you know, expanding spiritual awareness for some of you are feeling that as well. But some of you are needing to seek guidance from a spiritual te teacher, okay? Um, or, or seeking professional help, needing help within relationships and that type of thing. That's what I'm feeling here. But know that the people have come into your life, they were part of your life experiences. You learned from those scenarios. Clarifying, yeah, you're looking at the past like a huge disappointment. You have the five of cups, not seeing things clearly, okay, living behind a veil of illusion, you know, this is the card of sadness, disappointment, you know, um, depression, but know that 
you learnt from this. You learnt from your past here. A lot of emotions coming up to the surface, okay? Perhaps you're looking back at your relationships with there could be a lot in the way that you were raised. There could be relationships with parents that you're looking at. Significant father figure here with the Emperor card. This is Aries energy. But also this could be the father of your children. Um, this could be an authority figure in your life. Okay, This could also be a boss. Perhaps there's been an ending in a work situation for some of you as well. Okay, But somehow your stability has been rocked. Some of you, this is somebody that you've been in a relationship with or somebody that you're dealing with. Perhaps this person, um, for some I'm even seeing, is already in a committed relationship, in a marriage. Perhaps you, you know, stuck around in a situation that wasn't serving you. Others of you, the person that you're dealing with um, that is in a committed, committed relationship already, there's some kind of ending or dark thoughts around that right now. Um, needing to get out of something but feeling very stuck, feeling very confused, wanting to move forward, okay? I do feel that there's this energy of let the past go, know that everything has been an experience for you. Somebody's also been very controlling in a situation, all right? You would hope for more and it's taken forever for it to come in or it hasn't come in. But I do feel that somebody's coming in here very quickly to communicate something to you. There's a message coming in. I feel if you were dealing with this emperor energy and previously they weren't talking, somebody wants to have honest communication. Then they're coming in quickly to have that communication. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here as well. But this person has deep feelings, okay? A lot of emotions here, wanting to be op open and honest, wanting to offer a cup of love here, all right? after going through some kind of hurt and disappointment this person could have gone through some kind of hurt and disappointment especially if you're dealing with third parties there is a feeling of third parties there you have discovery here okay this is a time you could also be stepping into this emperor energy realizing that you're a leader that you're a teacher that your experiences have you know, helped you to help others in life, okay? And you moving passionately forward to a path that you know where you're going to be helping other people. That's also what I'm getting here, all right? But you have here discovery. This has been a time of self-discovery for you, all right? You're learning a lot about yourself. You're learning about your relationships. You're learning about what is going to make a happy relationship for you. Some of you are creating boundaries you want this happy home happy life happy family you want your ten of cups you're not going to settle for anything less than that and you've learned from your past which has taught you about boundaries you've discovered what your worth is what you truly deserve and you're not going to settle for anything less than a ten of cups yeah you want wish fulfillment you have ten of cups and nine of cups need i say any more you want your wish fulfillment you want all of the package, not half of it. And if any, people can't give you what you want, you're going to leave it behind and say, bye, I'm not doing this anymore. Either give me what I want or I'm moving on because I know what I deserve. I know what my worth is. This is about you taking charge in your life, taking steps to move towards abundance, success, prosperity, abundant relationships, happiness, emotional fulfillment. You have the lovers highlighting taking steps. There's some kind of decision that needs to be made. I also feel that somebody's trying to make a decision on how they're going to move forward, how they're going to communicate, how they're going to offer something. But this is also you taking action. There is a decision that needs to be made. You have the lovers, this is Gemini energy. Okay, it's, it's about making decisions. Making a decision about what's going to work for you in a relationship. And um, somebody, I do get the sense and feeling that somebody really wants to work on a partnership and a relationship here. You might not be so sure, or they might not be so sure yet, but I also feel with the, with the lovers and the eight of pentacles, somebody's want to come in, there's new career opportunities. You moving towards something that you feel passionately about in regards to your career and your finances, putting the effort in, putting the effort in to attract and manifest the relationship that you want in your life, putting the effort in to make partnerships and alliances with people in regards to your career that's going to bring you abundant success and prosperity, but choosing wisely, 
choosing relationships where it's going to be an equal give and take, where somebody wants to work with you, somebody wants this, somebody wants to offer you a solid foundation. There is a feeling that somebody's coming in to offer you a solid foundation, that wants to work with you, that wants to give you stability. After making some kind of choice, you are moving into a time of increase after going through a time of lack, okay, or decrease. Things are going to change for you. You have increase. This is about your money, your finances, okay? So if you've lost money, it's going to be replaced. You're going to have abundance and success. So you've ended a cycle of decrease and moving into increase here. Here you are as the nine of pentacles. This is you creating your abundant universe. This is viewed as the single lady card, okay? Somebody who stands in a garden surrounded by the abundance that she's created. She's self-confident, she, she loves herself, she believes in herself, and you know what? She's created all of this. These are seeds that she's planted and she's watched them blossom and come into fruition. She didn't give up, she believed in herself. And her wish is coming true. Whatever this next chapter in this increase is, this is about your life purpose. There's something about your purpose. There's gonna be new opportunities in regards to career and finances, but whatever this is, is wish fulfillment. You're moving into a very abundant time right now. New doors of opportunity are going to be open for you. Nine is also a completion of a cycle, so you could be moving away from a job that you're in and moving into something completely new, but this path that you choose will be abundant and it is your wish fulfillment. You wanted this, you manifested this. Highlighting the Nine of Pentacles, you have the King of Swords. Somebody is also coming, somebody could view you as this Nine of Pentacles, all right? Extremely abundant, confident, beautiful, has it all together, okay? Somebody is also wanting to come in with gifts, I'm feeling like that, wanting to offer you something here, okay? Wanting to work with you, I do feel that. Um, highlighting the Nine of Cups, you have judgment. There's going to be a rebirth, renewal. There's an opportunity to do something over. I do feel you're connecting with somebody from the past, all right? Um, somebody's really been thinking about how they're going to present a certain offer to you, all right? Uh, the King of Pentacles is somebody who's very analytical, logical, um, but wise, very wise when it comes to um, decision-making as well. They want to communicate something, but they haven't. So that's Gemini, Libra, uh, Aquarius energy. And then you have Nine of Pentacles, Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with Nine of Cups. But this is an opportunity for a rebirth and renewal, the opportunity to do something over. Clarifying, yeah, somebody wants to move towards you. This person could live at a distance from you, okay? But this is also you traveling, either they're gonna be traveling to see you or you're going to see them. Whatever this is, is going to be wish fulfillment. All right, somebody at a distance. Moving forward, moving to the next step. You could also be leaving something completely behind and moving towards a new cycle because you have judgment and renewal. And whatever this is, there's going to be abundance, success, prosperity, stability, happy home and happy life with the 10 of pentacles. Again, Taurus Capricorn, Virgo energy. So your guidance cards this week, letting go, letting go of negative toxic patterns and behaviors, letting go of what isn't serving you, completing a cycle and moving on, okay? It's time to put the burden down. Stop holding on to things that aren't serving you. This is a time of rebirth and reinvention for you. Again, a card of renewal, starting something over, new beginnings here, okay? After going through a time of emotions, it's like being born again. In order to find guidance, clarity, knowledge, wisdom, go within and meditate. Connect. Go within. Allow your guides to guide you forward, okay? To seek clarity. So that's your reading for the week of June 7th to June 13th. I'm wishing you a blessed and beautiful week ahead. Take care, guys. Namaste.